I wanted to be a jockey from the age of 12 and um, I remember sitting at home we'd, with obviously Dad's training and all, all the staff used to come in and watch the cup inside and we used to have the paper clips and all the runners and drawn out and whatever won the race, get, keep the cash and my first memory was media puzzle and um, yeah so it's um, it's a long way, long time since then. They're all scrapping behind Yucatan. It's a distance in front, six, seven lengths in front from Leopardstown to Caulfield. This is going to trot in. James McDonald eases it down, if you don't mind, and won it by a length. Well, he couldn't have been more impressive. Um, he showed a great test of stamina. He showed a great turn of foot. He relaxed well. Um, it's all the attributes you need to win a, a Melbourne Cup. Um, I think he's the right horse to do it. He's, he's in with a reasonably nice weight. Um, I wouldn't mind another kilo off his back, but um, obviously they penalised him quite heavily for that. But he's a bit of a quirky horse. He, he does like his own space. He, he travelled well, but um, more what I learned about him was he showed a great turn of foot and he sustained it for 600 metres. And um, look, if, if he did come into a bit of trouble, he's going to be able to get out of it, which is a positive sign. And, um, he relaxes good, there's no qualms about that and I th obviously he hasn't been tested at 24, uh, 3200 but I don't think there's going to be much of a problem there and he's just been ticking along beautifully up in Europe and he's come down and he had to win the Herbert Power to get into the race and which he did in great style and yeah, I wouldn't swap him for anything at the moment.